Hey, all right. So we're back and we're ready for the next uh, review. Uh, Lego sent out to us the Lego Mindstorms, and basically, if you're not familiar with Lego Mindstorms, it's a uh, Lego kit, similar to constructing regular Legos, the, the toys themselves. But <coughs> excuse me. Um, but in this case, it's more designed for robotics. Now, I've been to many competitions and things like that of you know people of all ages, from elementary school, junior high, high school, and universities, and I've seen some very interesting projects done with the Lego Mindstorms. Um, according to them, it's for ages 10 and up. However, uh, I've seen a lot of things. In fact, if you look at the uh, community website, you'll see that we have some videos of people using Lego Mindstorms. They actually have like bipeds walking and running and doing a lot of advanced robotics with such a simple kit. Um, the kit comes with all the basics, you know, uh, building blocks that you might need to build robots, um, including with, you know, they have sensors, uh, they have a microcontroller, and it plugs into your computer. And you can program it and send down things to it. Now, the extent of it, what the details are, we don't know yet because we've never actually used LEGO Mindstorms. Um, but you can do a series of projects and basically come up with whatever you want to come up with for your project. Um, it's compatible with PC and Mac. It's you know you can interface with USB and Bluetooth. Uh, that's another nice feature. Now, when you get first get the box, it opens up and it shows you all the contents. So basically, at the top, it just up here, up there, basically just shows some stuff on you know connecting things. So like for example, let's see if we can get that in there. So we show some uh, basic connecting. So as you can see. Here's the microcontroller, and it connects to a variety of sensors, which is uh, pretty nice, you know. And they uh, have this like telephone jack type. I think it's RJ11, and it just kind of plugs right in. It makes it very simple. Uh, requires no soldering. Requires very little work from your side um, to actually get things pl plugged in and connected. Um, more things that you can do. So you can see uh, what we have here is the inside, and it shows you all the contents. So as you can see, you have an extensive part listing. Your microcontroller, a variety of sensors, wheels, uh, things like that. Some pictures of things you might want to do, and some screenshots of some of their projects. How to you know talk to it, and also their software. They have a software that allows you to program the robot and do a bunch of things, which is really nice. Um, so that's about it. That's an introduction to this kit. One thing that we want to mention is also is that Lego is not the only one that makes uh, sensors for it. We actually just received something from Mind Sensors. It's a separate company, and they go ahead uh, and they actually create sensors that are specifically designed for Lego Mindstorms, which is really nice. They were nice enough to send us out a few of their sensors and devices. So here we just have a battery pack uh, that's designed for the Mindstorm system. Here we have uh, a, a multiplexer for the motors an acceleration sensor, and a PS2 controller. So we hope to do some interesting projects, hopefully with this. Um, you'll be able to see a lot of those on our website where we'll be doing things like controlling the Robotino, controlling the Mini Hexapodino, and controlling other robots with a PS2 controller. Um, so, you know, you don't have to necessarily start off with, uh, you know, programming, and especially if what you want to concentrate on is more the mechanical part of the robotics rather than the software, um, then, you know, you can easily go down that route. So that's a quick introduction to this kit, and uh, next video we'll start going through all the contents and see what's going on.